high school, Andy, is very, very complicated, as I mentioned to the board. And so it's very specialized. When you get to high school, we're talking about certification. And let's say, for example, you have a science teacher, right? And that person teaches, you have one person who might be teaching chemistry, biology, physics. And so we are talking about, you know, about a one month left and we're pulling everybody in the middle. It's very hard to, 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 to break away and to pull away and to split it. So, you know, if you are, for example, on ingenuity, that platform, but you do want to come back in person, you can't, you are not able to do that uh, because you're in the middle of a course on a different platform. So we have all these platforms going and you, it, not, it cannot come to a screeching halt. So the best compromise, and I, and I know it's a compromise, we cannot, unfortunately, I would love to make everyone happy and it's very, very difficult. And so what we're saying is students who are struggling and that's what the committee came up with, individuals who are struggling, seniors who are struggling, particularly freshmen, they can come in, we'll have open spaces for them, and we'll do some, we'll provide some, we'll provide instruction for them in a creative way. So they're still able to work with their teachers via team or the ingenuity platform, and it does not disrupt, disrupt the model that they're currently working under. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. It, 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 we cannot make it work by stopping midstream and then start in a new model you know with one month to go so or, i'm sorry so we're you know the idea is to salvage uh, as many students as possible are you <laughs> hopefully worried, you won't though, record that one are you worried though because the online lear learning and i know a few parents who are de dealing with this um it is very hard yes. and the kids um are dis are dis are distracted there's feelings of depression some kids are not learning other kid um some class some classrooms it's just not working are you worried that they're going to fall farther and farther be um be um behind and what does it mean ma'am to bring a student back for open spaces what what is that yes yeah, so i'm worried about that and what i would say is if kids are not having success that's what I would do. I would contact the principal, work with the staff at that building, and talk about having this kid come back to the building, and they will receive additional supports. Whether it's tutoring, small groups, they will receive a, additional support. So that's the purpose. That's the next best thing, um, which will be implemented in January. But uh, for the meantime, uh, additional supports, the building, buildings will be opened for high school students and it will be intentional, it will be targeted, and those that are struggling, those are the ones that they're focusing on first. So they will get the support, but it's, it's focused on, again, ninth graders and other students who are truly, truly su uh, struggling. Um, the principals and the teams at the schools will create um, will create schedules for them and they will work with them to provide the additional supports that's needed um, through the month well through the end of first semester how how much in how much input will the par parents have and I ask that because a teacher might think that the kid's doing fine but the parent might not or vice versa the parent could think my kid's fine and the tea the teacher's done. Yep, so then that's where you, we, since we focus on the whole child, you have a good argument to say, you know what, academically, it may seem okay on surface, on the surface, but emotionally, physically, you know, um, all of the other social emotional pieces that we talk about, uh, you can make your case that way. Okay, thanks. You're welcome.